Let me ask you guys a question. If you were to go to the tourist capital of China, where do you think you'd be going? Without looking at the title in this video, of course, maybe Beijing because of the Great Wall or Shanghai or Shenzhen or Guangzhou. Well, it's none of those places. And if you're not Chinese, I almost guarantee you've never heard of it before. It's Zunyi, a small city in southeastern China where millions and millions of people go every single year for tourism. And the reason is because of its deep roots to communism, often labeled the most communist place in all of China. So I'm gonna go head there tonight. Let's go find out what it's all about. You coming? He's not coming. So today I'm at the main attraction. I'm at the place which brings so many people to Zunyi, China. And I brought my little Chinese flag with me to show my patriotism. And yeah, this place really was where Chairman Mao had a great big conference because really there was a civil war going on. I think in the 1920s or 1930s, there was a huge civil war. So they, they won a battle in Zunyi, the Communist Party, and they had a great big meeting and they decided there and then Chairman Mao will take over military power of China and that really led them on to win and become a communist state. So there's a lot of pride and a lot of historical relevance here in this city. And I'll tell you what, one of the most astonishing things about this war is how the Red Army, the communists, they had to take over the whole country, right? They needed to defeat the Democratic Party. And to do that, they did something called the Great March, which is a really historic event in itself, where they travelled over 25,000 kilometres. This took over a year. By foot, they walked 25,000 kilometers city by city and they came to Zunyi and they battled in the mountains. They would have been so tired, but they won, which is just amazing. And of course, everything in China has to be red and gold. So they have to add a McDonald's right next to it. Very fulfilling, very authentic. <laughs> So yeah, here we are in downtown Zunyi, looking pretty lively. Uh, you've got all the high street foreign brands like Nike and Adidas over there. And yeah, so I'm, I'm just walking over now to the, uh, the food market. It's a supposedly really famous local food market. You can try all the, the local Zunyinese food, which I honestly cannot bear because it is so spicy, but we'll give it a go. Now, tomorrow is the start of the national holiday called the Golden Week. So you're going to be having millions and millions of people flood into Zunyi. And to be honest, it's a really tiny city. There's around a million people living here. You compare that though to somewhere like Chongqing, which has got something crazy like 30 million or so people living there. It is absolutely hectic. But yeah, with Zunyi being only a small city, it's going to be chaos. So I'm trying to do as much as I can these past couple of days whilst I'm here. 